impossible is a word that shouldn't even be in the dictionary anymore. I think that Nelson Mandela said it best because he said, it always seems impossible until it's done. It's all about connecting with our clients and customers. Your clients and customers want to feel valued. They want to feel cared about. They want to feel like they matter. The essence of building these relationships and connecting with your clients and customers to create the world-class experience is simply a matter of listening for their stories and personalizing their experience based upon those stories. Jeff is the founder and chief question officer of Think Again, a speaking and consulting company that helps people and organizations build relationships that drive results. Jeff's programs are a combination of motivation, ideas, strategies, tactics, and different ways to build business. Contact us at 216-373-7610 to find out more about Jeff's keynotes and workshops or contact us via email at jeff at thinkagaincoaching.com. Keep it simple. The lessons we need in life, we learn by the time we're in kindergarten. So let's get this straight. I attract people. People want to be around me. They're, they feel connected to me. Would that help you in your business? We like to say, oh yeah, you can go be a day maker, but this is about the core of your business. The power of a smile is amazing. This is a picture of my brother, Greg. And other than being a handsome devil, there's a couple of things that jump out from this picture immediately. Obviously, he's got a very cool cowboy hat on. And I kind of wish I had on right now to go with my cowboy boots. But what's the other thing that jumps off the page about this picture? A smile, right. This picture was taken about nine months before Greg's death, 30 years ago. He was a star athlete. My father was a very successful business person in town. There were literally thousands of people that came to his wake for a 19-year-old young man. Wow, 19 years old, and he figured out the secret of life. He had. Treat people like they matter. Make sure they feel valued. Make sure they know they're cared about. And that is the essence of what we're here about today. The lesson from a tragedy is really the lesson of life and to transform your business. Because that is the essence of a world-class experience. Your clients and customers want to feel valued. They want to feel cared about. They want to feel like they matter. So how do we connect with people in this disconnected world? Because things have changed, and they've not changed for the better. Think about it. It used to be, where did we buy our books 10 years ago? At a bookstore. Where do we buy them now? Online. In fact, this is so crazy. I was at a conference two weeks ago. The author, we've got authors here. The author is there signing books. A friend of mine walked up to me. There's tables of books. He said, and they just heard this person speak, said, she's amazing. I've got to buy her book. And she's standing right here. And he's this far away. And he says, i got to get her book, but I'm going to get it on Amazon. It's cheaper. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm going to save $4 and I could buy it now? This world, we've shifted to this technologically-based world, this efficient world, this cost-saving world. And it's not a good shift, but we can get past it. Jeff is the founder and chief question officer of Think Again, a speaking and consulting company that helps people and organizations build relationships that drive results. Jeff's programs are interesting, engaging, and inspiring, with lots of ideas to implement in your business and your life. Are you ready to accelerate your business and your results? Contact us at 216-373-7610 to book Jeff to speak with your organization. You pulled into the station and someone came out of the building and for some of these companies, they actually ran to your car. They ran to your car to come out and say, pump your gas, 
I'm going to check your oil. You need it topped off. And they wiped your windshield. Think about what would happen today if someone approached your car with a squeegee at a service station. You would do one of two things. You would either roll up your window and speed away, or you'd reach for a dollar, assuming it's a homeless person coming to clean your windshield. How crazy has this world gotten? Because we're so disconnected. So how do we beat the system? How do we beat society? How do we beat culture? How do we connect to our clients and customers? How many of you remember passing notes in school? Okay, I remember watching them being passed. Yeah, I'm looking for some sympathy here. Because I was never actually noteworthy. I think I was talked about in some notes, but I don't remember actually sending one or receiving one. But today, we don't pass notes, we text, right? So what is the number one way in America today to break up with someone? Via text. If you can't read it, it says, hey, idiot. I thought that was, really wasn't true, but I had an experience this spring that told me otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> Part of me was elated. Because I said, oh my God, I just got broke up with by text. I am finally cool. <laughs> it took me 51 years to be noteworthy, and it came in a text. How many times when you had an opportunity to talk to a customer or a client by phone or in person, and we sent them an email? Even if it was good news, we sent them an email because, oh, that's quicker. Wow, what a horrible problem. My customer or client wants to talk to me. Mm, can't do that. Let me send them an email because I need to be efficient with them. I need to be time efficient. We're doing this to ourselves. The investment in those extra few minutes changes everything. Jeff has an established reputation for building strong relationships and using those relationships to help others enhance their own success. Jeff's workshops will empower your team to build relationships that will enhance their performance and their engagement. To learn more, visit us at www.thinkagaincoaching.com. The essence of building these relationships and connecting with your clients and customers to create the world-class experience is simply a matter of listening for their stories and personalizing their experience based upon those stories. And I'm not talking about big, long, drawn-out stories. Part of their story is their name. And the thing is, your clients and customers are sharing their story with you every day, but we don't listen or we don't hear or we don't pay attention because we've been trained, unfortunately, many of us, to listen with a business filter. So I'm listening with the ear towards how do I get a sale out of this? How do I deal with the business issues here? Instead of listening to them like a person. When you get this mind shift to happen, you'll understand that everyone around you is telling you their stories constantly. And it's not about asking intrusive questions. The question could, may end up starting with, how are you doing? And they tell you a story. But my, what happens is we shut them off. Going, God, I wish I didn't ask that question. They just gave you 37 clues as to how you can amaze them. And we weren't listening. So start thinking about the stories of the people you interact with. Your clients, your customers, your prospective clients and customers. They have a story to tell. Your job is to listen, capture it, and utilize that information to personalize it. Earlier this year, I'm at a meeting with a financial planner that I work with. Second time we're having the meeting. One of the team members walks in with two Starbucks cups and hands one to me. Well, I politely declined initially because I said, thank you very much, but I don't drink coffee. She said, well, it's not coffee, it's chai tea latte. Well, that's my thing. I don't drink coffee, but that's my addiction. I said, how did you know that? She said, you mentioned it at the last meeting when you said you didn't drink coffee. 
Now, in that moment, they went from a mere service provider to a relationship, and I went from a mere, a mere cl client, right, to someone who's a raving fan. And I may not remember the T 10 years from now, but I'm going to remember how I felt, that I'm special, that I mattered, that they cared about me. How likely am I to leave them? Not very. If they mess up, I'm more likely to overlook it because I'm going to think back to how I felt valued, even if I don't remember the T, because the feeling stays with us. So with one cup of tea, they took me to this deep level of relationship, enhanced the experience, and made me a raving fan. Are you ready to accelerate your business and your results? Jeff has discovered the secret formula for life. It's the magic of relationships. Jeff helps organizations build extraordinary relationships with prospects, clients, and team members. To learn more about Jeff's keynotes and workshops, contact us at Jeff at thinkagaincoaching.com. How many of you know the HBO series Band of Brothers? I'm a huge fan. I talk about it a lot. And someone that I do business with was listening. And about a year and a half ago, out of the blue, no reason, they send me an autographed photo. This is from D-Day, signed by Wild Bill Garnier, who is one of the veterans featured in that series. This is one of my most prized possessions, and it came from someone I do business with. Now, do you think I'll ever stop doing business with them? No. I can't imagine a scenario where I will stop doing business with them. How many of you would like to have customers for life? Now, I will share this with you. They may have spent a lot of money on this. They may have spent $50 on this, but they got a lifetime customer. They got a raving fan all because they listened. And they personalized my experience just by listening. And what's cool about all the things we're talking about, about this, the way that we can use secret service, personalize the experience through their stories, it creates not only great relationships and great experiences, the word that keeps coming to me is extraordinary. Because it's so far beyond the norm. It's so far beyond anything we've experienced. We talk about the 3%. This is the 3% realm, but it was easy. It was really easy to get there. I want to talk about Mission Possible. Some of you probably know this story. This is Dick and Rick Hoyt. Dick is the older gentleman in the back. That's Rick in the wheelchair. In 1962, Rick was born and due to oxygen deprivation, was diagnosed as a spastic quadriplegic. And the doctor said, there's nothing going on. Put him in an institution. But mom and dad said, no, not doing that. And we actually think something is going on in there. And it took them years and years, and they finally found some scientists who developed a computer, and they found out there was something going on up there. In fact, they figured out a way that Rick could communicate by tapping his head on a pad, on a chair. The first words he ever typed was, Go Bruins. They lived in Boston. In fact, not only was there something going on there, but Rick today has a college degree and not honorary. So here's a young man that the world said, lock him up. But because his parents loved him and believed in him, they achieved the extraordinary with him. But that's just the beginning of the story. Because in 1977, when Rick was 15 years old, one of his classmates was paralyzed in a car accident. And they were doing a 5K run to raise money for this fellow student. And Rick went to his dad, Dick, and said, Dad, would you push me in this race? I'd like to be a part of this. And his dad, who was not in great shape, said, OK. And they ran the race, and they finished, dead last. That was their first race in 1977. And as of this summer, the two of them have competed in over 1,000 races, including almost 240 triathlons, six Ironmen, 
something like 69 full marathons, including 27 Bostons. And if you don't know about marathons, you have to qualify with times. And there's no exceptions for the handicap. When they do triathlons, dad pushes him in the running, bikes him on a seat on the front of his bike, and swims with a little rubber boat behind him. It's an amazing story. And it's said that Rick saved Dick's life because a couple of years ago, Dick had a heart attack. And he survived it, and he's healthy today. They're back racing. But the doctor said, if you hadn't been in such great shape, this probably would have killed you. And they've asked Rick, Rick, why do you love this racing? And Rick said, because it's the only time I don't feel handicapped. And they've asked Rick one other question over and over. If you could be fully healthy for one day, what would you do? And we all know the answer. I'd push my dad. It's an amazing story about two people or a family that overcame what everybody said was impossible. And it's a word that I've worked to give up. Impossible is a word that shouldn't even be in the dictionary anymore. I think that Nelson Mandela said it best because he said, it always seems impossible until it's done. Until it's done. But the sad part to me is, I've had people hear this story and said, Jeff, great story. Thanks for sharing. But that's, they're extraordinary. I can't do that. We can't do that. You ever had that conversation in your business? That's too big. That's too hard. We can't grow our business 100%. We've never done it. It's too big. We can't create world-class experience. It's too hard. We're too far behind. I don't believe these two are extraordinary at all. What I believe they are is a couple of ordinary people who created the extraordinary. I have a friend who said to me once, I don't know where the quote came from, He said, you know, God sure must love ordinary people because he made a lot of us. What I believe is each one of us is ordinary. But within each one of us is the capacity to create extraordinary. And I invite each one of you to embrace the extraordinary in you and to take it back to your teams with a mindset that I'm going to help my team members Create the extraordinary, because I know it's in them. Nicole talked about believing in your team. Believing in them, supporting them. Jack talked about valuing them. All these things we're talking about are the same for your team members. So take this back. Create extraordinary for yourselves, your team members, and your organization. And you will have challenges, you will have setbacks, you're going to have stumbles, it's going to happen. But remember this that every journey begins with a single step or perhaps just a smile. Thank you. Are you ready to accelerate your business and your results? Jeff's workshops will empower your team to build relationships that will enhance their performance and their engagement. These are just a few of the comments from those who have applied Jeff's tips and tools to their business and lives and achieved better relationships and better results. I had the pleasure of hearing Jeff Nishwitz speak and he is truly amazing. I consider Jeff's material a life-changing event. Jeff's message was down to earth, humorous and important and the audience listened. Bravo Jeff! Jeff's motivational presentation has the power to lift a person up to a place where they feel they can achieve anything. To learn more about Jeff's speaking programs or to book Jeff for your group or event, contact us at 216-373-7610 or contact us via email at jeff at thinkagaincoaching.com.